Oh, we're back. Oh my goodness, we're back. Ooh-wee. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Gear Night, your favorite podcast and the world's favorite podcast, clearly. The whole world's favorite podcast. The whole world. My name's Ross. My name's Alec. Oh, Alec, tonight we're taking a look at the EAE Limelight or Electronic Audio Experiment Limelight, your favorite pedal. I love this pedal. One of my favorite pedals. Um, All right, let's shut up and get some tones, and then we'll talk about it later. Okay. Here we go. Clean. To- oh, sorry. We got to do guitar, and what are you playing? Uh, this is your Fender American Strat with yep. a um, little 59 humbucker which i'll be on the whole time so that feels important <laughs> or probably most of the time yeah probably it's a humbucker yeah it rips yeah. uh going straight into the limelight l cap for reverb and delay and then two tone x in stereo little fender vox situation little fender vox situation and then that's it all right here we go
so many genres we just hit right there. I, I like to give the people a wide variety of things you might be playing. Yeah, who knows, bro? You never know. This pedal rips. Yeah. Dang it. It's great. Ah. Uh, We've become such huge fans of it, I feel like, because it always seems to be the thing that cuts. Yeah. But it doesn't feel dumb bright or anything like that. No, it can get bright. Yeah, yeah, it definitely can. But I, yeah, I just feel like in the last like two years, yeah. we've probably had it when we're like watching back. And and just to clarify, we discovered it first. First, not our friend not Jordan. Our other friend, no. we told him about it. Dudes of, and then he follower. bought. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. That guy. Um, but yeah, <laughs> every like show I've played, where even like I could hear you. It was that. Yeah. I've like you were even at a show one time and I ran through the three pedals and you're like, whatever that one was. And I was like, it's the limelight. Yeah. And then same with like church services. I feel like a yep. lot of the times it's like the thing we can, yeah. Which is so this stuff, this, let me try again. You got it. I got it right here. <clears throat> this pedal doesn't get enough love in the church world. Yeah. It totally. It should. It should. It's got a ton of gain on tap, which you don't necessarily need. Yeah. But that's not. Yeah. You know, that sounds yeah great. I, I use it as my, like, it's the one that I have on the most for church stuff is like a middle, yeah, medium, whatever. But it could easily be your first, and it could, it's, it could yeah, also you could be, turn down the gain and it could be one, or you could crank yeah, the gain it could be, and it could be two. And then when you need three, it's got an independent, boost. independent boost, meaning you can use it without the drive. And this is so loud. It's, I mean, like, yeah. there's so many. Like, I li I leave it on like twenty five percent. Yeah, that's the only place I've ever had it. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Also, uh, the only thing I didn't like about this pedal is I couldn't tell where the knobs were. Yeah, and so you didn't like it either. Right. So one time I walked out into the living room and you were taking nail polish to yours. Yep. So I just <laughs> had you that's do mine too. <laughs> that's a fun tip. You guys should all do that. Yeah. Because it, yeah, it's impossible to see. With, with it on black, you can't see where... It Especially when the, like, lights are low or, yeah. you know, you're at a show or whatever. Play a lot of cool, sh cool shows. A lot, a lot of cool it's shows. Dark and like, yeah. It's funny that at churches is all you have on, and then also and at the other every band, other club is yeah, all so. you have on, too. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Yeah, I feel like... Do you ever... Where are your knobs at? You, uh, that's another thing I like. Alec, it, yeah. Where are my knobs at? Show me your knobs. <laughs> I actually don't know, which is kind of a... I do and I don't. I don't know exactly because I, it doesn't matter that much. I feel like on this, like I, oh, you know what I mean. Like that's I, crazy. Yeah, I have pedals where I have to get that exact spot. These I know that I can walk up and yeah, be almost at noon or yeah. If I'm doing like a lighter thing, I'm like probably you know here and then here with it, and then even, you're nice with it though. I'm nice, thank you. And then if I want to be heavier. I just go like that. You're 11 to 1, somewhere in the 11 to 1 range. Yeah. And like, again, this could be here and this could be here or, you, just, you know, yeah. that's fine. Like literally all of them within this. Yeah, I I'm, agree. I'm fine with it. Any, anywhere from. Yeah. This is it. Right there. We just find the sweet spot. Yeah. Where, wherever you're playing that day, mm -hmm. you're going to find something here. Exactly. So I do. Yeah. I probably move them every time I play it, just a hair. But you normally, so this focus switch for those that don't know is like the middle is like. Is that the original mode? I, I have, have no, no idea, idea. But, but it's like the it's the darkest of the three. Yeah. And then down. And then down is brighter. Yeah. What's up? And then up is the brightest, I think. Yeah, I always have it the lowest one. So like medium bright? Yeah. But we just I switched to a new amp modeler and it felt like everything was bright last week and so you were like just do this and that kind of fixed it yeah 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 this pedal is so good yeah i love that i love also you you got this for like 200 bucks you stole it Maybe. from somebody i could tell you and then i loved it so much that i got it classic password Classic password. <laughs> oh yeah, everyone. Can. That's the Kanye. One 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 one. 
ultra I'm ultra secure over here. Oh, we're going dude. to the reverb to check? Yeah, on my purchases. Dang. Purchased it for two thirty. Two thirty? Yep. I feel like for a minute there they were they were hot. They were real hot. When they first cause this pedal, if you, if anyone cares, and this little logo, um, I think the logo is Touche More. But the this is like that right there. With the band Touche More wanted a it sounded like from the video, like um the blues breaker thing with a boost. It sounded like they were using morning glories yeah. with a boost. And um and I really like that band and I like the tones that they get, and that's why our friend did buy it. Maybe before us, maybe no, after no, no, us. No, 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 Def- no. Definitely after us. Obviously after We're us. after us, yeah. yeah. But we was- are not followers. No, yeah. But that's to get those uh, touche sounds. Something like that. So that that that's where that. I don't know why I was saying that, but that's the ba- that band is like. I think yeah, why this the, pedal exists. Yeah, I've heard. I've never even again looked into this pedal, even though I love gear so much as far as like what it is. But I've heard or read somewhere that it's like the Blues Breaker Tube Screamer combo. Okay, but maybe that's maybe I it's a lie. Double barrel. Yeah, I mean like it's a blend of a Tube Screamer uh, and Blues Breaker. Oh, on that's like, cool. On like this side. Ah, wow. Which, if that's true, that's super sick. Yeah. And if it's not true, still super sick. Still super sick. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, it just works with, like, every... I mostly play a Strat, but, like, I've again, I feel like I have other pedals that sometimes... Yeah. Just to, and I have a Jazzmaster and a Starcaster and a Tele, and they... This pedal, again, it's just a matter of, like, here to here, and then it sounds great. Yeah. Also, this pedal, I remember playing... You were playing some show at... Some venue, mm-hmm. I don't know, and you, yeah, you ran through them, and you did this, and then the rat yeah. right after it, or specifically the uh, what what pedal is that? Walrus Audio. Oh, the Iron Horse. Iron Horse. Yeah. And I was just like, not that. <laughs> really? Go back to one. Do you remember that? And you're like, I do. Okay. Yeah. And that's all you used. Yeah. Because I was using that rat thing for the Iron Horse for my like bigger sound, and yeah. sometimes I still do, but this just gets through somehow. It just cuts through the mix. It's and the not boost like is super so saturated. Nice. And the boost is nice. And the size is really nice that you have a boost. And the and top jacks like, are nice. The top, yeah, like, dude, love this pedal. Buy this pedal. Buy it right now. This is my first, like, okay, I say buy pedals a lot. This, I mean buy this pedal. Yes. <laughs> yeah. For I, real I totally buy this pedal. Mean. Yeah, this I would genuinely, I get excited because recently for some reason, like, I've had a lot, at lots of shows, people are like, yeah. I've had like a couple of dudes like, what specifically, what overdrive are you using? Yeah. And I'm excited to be like, buy, buy it's this. It's just this. Yeah. Cause if I genuinely felt Into a like Fender it was amp. like, yeah. If I felt like I was, you know, something similar to something else I've played, I would just be like, you can do, get this or that. I specifically like yep. this. Yeah. I agree. It's this and, and also literally it is an L cap. Yeah. Is that like the, all you like use for that band? Much, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's that's it. And then, uh, sorry, I should have put a chorus pedal in a here. A chorus pedal, yep. Yeah, you yeah. You have it, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's in the store behind me. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> okay, well, we're making a promise uh, in our last video. If you watched that, we we did the 1981 uh, LVL, and we said we would stack it. So I'm going to plug it in real quick, and we're going to stack it with this pedal just to see what's what, even though you don't need it because it already has a boost in it. Chef feel? Take me there. I'm sorry I said that. (laughs) (laughs) What happened? I don't know.
Okay, hold on. This is a sweet. What'd you learn? I mean, it. this is so... Not to go back on this pedal like we just did on... I mean, we talked about it already in the other video. But it does a jangly thing for those, like, big chords. Okay, Or yeah. those, like, dink, dink, tat, dink, tat, dink, tat, like More that whole thing. thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where I feel like you can hear... You know, there's gain. It's pushing the amp and there's gain. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's not saturated and, like, closed. It's got a clarity. Yeah, there's a clarity. That's the word. That's the buzzword. Ooh, clarity. Dang, bro. Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. That's my fault, honestly, Vin. That's on me. Won't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a clarity to this one. And this one is st obviously still great. Yeah. Love this pedal. But it is more like, yeah, I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? It just kind of does this thing. Here, play it. I'll, sw I'll swap them. There's also more gain on this one, so yeah. granted, I I get that. Dang, I don't know. I swapped this from the bright mode that it was in to yeah. the non-bright mode. They sounded the same. Almost. They did sound yeah. almost the same, which is crazy. But that's that's uh, again, this is this pedal's video. So I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna say this focus switch make this pedal great because how often do you have drives that sound the same? Like for like five years, you could have had two, yeah. like four morning glories, and that would have been fine. Right. right. Do you know what I mean? So this is like okay. Well, I know it does that, but I just want to cut a little bit more to go. Yep. Okay. There's. There you go. Or like. It's on your doorstep. Oh, it's on your doorstep. <laughs> I walk in. I go. Bah! And I paint the bowl. <laughs> I and paint I leave. The bowl and I walk away. <laughs> uh, or if you have like, I, doesn't Touche have two guitar players? Mm -hmm. I think that's literally why. Like, yeah. I think one they're in a different. I could be making that up, but I think that's at least maybe the marketing idea behind it. Or too. for yeah, for us like in, yeah. in soft sound, like we both use this pedal. Yep. And you're here, and then I'm usually like here. Yeah, and we both play through Fender amps, but in both strats, but we don't sound exactly the same. We don't sound the same. Yeah, which is cool. So, cool. dang, dang, this I'd buy this pedal. If I did. This was a lot of gain, and this pedal is still great. Mm -hmm. I'm coming around to this pedal a lot, big time. But also, this one has a boost, and if you're just not adding a boost to your pedal, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? You are freaking nothing sadder than locking a beast in a cage. <laughs> That does sound like me laughing at the end. I totally know. <laughs> it does. Okay, anything else on this video? Nope. Nice. All good. Buy this pedal? Buy it. Buy this pedal? Yeah, definitely. Buy this pedal? Sure. Oh, not convinced on this pedal yet. He'll have to take this home and play with it. I like it, yeah. He's going to play with it. Let's do it. I can feel it. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Love you. We love you, bud.